Hi, you guys. Hello, hello. Um, so I just got out of a Zoom call and I figured everything's already set up. Let me just start a new Zoom call, <laughs> record it, and then I'll have a little video to put up on the YouTube for you guys. So the setup is a little bit different. I feel like I feel like I'm more zoomed in because of the Zoom call, <laughs> the Zoom, the Zoom thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not on my phone like I usually am. But the good thing about recording from a Zoom is the recording, um, the upload process on YouTube is so much faster. I don't know why, um, but it's so much faster. So that's pretty cool. So let me just kind of straighten everything out, get myself comfortable and, and like, whoops, I just knocked my, uh... can you guys hear me? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Hopefully that didn't screw up on the um, the video. <clears throat> I knocked my uh, cord for my speaker. Anyways, um, so I just got out of a, a call. It wasn't a, it wasn't a session or anything. I am actually taking business. I guess like we could call it business classes, business coaching um, classes it's in a group like it's a private membership so i joined and it's a it's it's in a group setting and i was very hesitant at first to sign up for this because i think it was just kind of like i've never done i, I really i've never done it i've always like taken classes and mentorships for you know developing mediumship, developing my psychic abilities, practice stuff for, for, you know, all of that. But I've never really taken an extensive business coaching membership. Like this is a membership. This is, it is an everyday um, where we're being fed like useful information. And there's at least two calls per month, but we had an extra one, which was today. Um, so it's it's a, it's a very different experience from like signing up for a psychic mentorship or a mediumship class or whatever. <laughs> um, but I have to say it's been really, really, really valuable. And this is only day three. Um, and this is only the second call that we've had. We have another one towards like the middle of the month, which I'm really looking forward to. But the fact that we're getting, it's, we're doing a good, we're participating in a challenge. Um, and so each day we're given kind of like a little nugget of information to put towards this goal that we may have, or just this ability to kind of create more, from your business. So um, it's just been really, really good. And I've been <laughs> really enjoying it. Um, and I think that that's what I needed. Like you guys know, like I've been talking all, all about this year. I feel like I've been just having to, <sighs> having to like reevaluate what do I want to do with my spiritual path? I've been asking myself the question of, am I still living the purpose? Am I still doing what I'm supposed to be doing? I hate that I'm so bright. <laughs> Hang on, you guys. I hate that I'm so bright on the screen. Sorry. I just feel like it washes my face out and then like the white walls behind me don't help. Um, so I just kind of feel... Uh, like I've been doing a lot of questioning about, like I said, about my spirituality, about my practice, about what I want to do. Do I still want to do this kind of work? I'm so burnt out all of the time. And I thought originally I was like, okay, maybe I need to kind of, you know, put in more of like, you know, being in the space of healing, which I am, I'm doing all the healing stuff. Um, but like, you know, taking other people's offerings and, 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 you know, having a reading done for myself, like treating myself, right? <laughs> and then I kind of like had my whole realization last month of spirit is trying to get my attention to do more of a um, physical healing and a physical shift, like paying more attention to my body rather than 
you know, some of the material aspects of my life or some of the spiritual aspects of my life. Like they really put a lot of stuff on hold with my business. And this, like the end of April, um, I had signed up for the wait list for this business men, um, not mentorship. I want to say mentorship, but it's a membership <laughs> for this membership. And um, when we got the, if you're on the wait list, basically you were, you know, you were going to get a newsletter and she was going to offer a coupon to go towards the membership price. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> it's just like, it was just like the timing of everything that, that this came out. I met, I actually met this person, um, the girl who was running it. I met her um, last year. And this is like the weird the weird part of how spirit works is the the event that I met this business mentor. I didn't even know she was a business mentor when I met her because we were at another event for someone else's stuff. And she would just happen to be there as a guest. And I, you know, I started talking to her very briefly, like just really like casual, you know, like just casual talk. And I didn't realize she was she was a business mentor, and the the stuff that happened at the event concerning um, a person that I was really close with stuff happened, and it was just kind of like this domino effect of tower moments. And I you know I won't go into any more of it, but it was just pretty much I had a falling out. And then it was just like a domino effect. I had more falling outs with more friends. And then like months later, leading up to like early this year, I had more falling outs. So there's like this, there's been this like, almost like a spiritual <laughs> flush <laughs> um, I, of just things being wiped out and removed from my life. Things being people, also energies having to do to my do with my business or my social media. And it's just been a domino effect literally since the day of that event. And um, it's kind of funny how I'm full circle now because since the day of that event, I'm full circle where I'm now under a mentorship in a membership with that same person that I was talking to. And it's just crazy. It just, it literally, this just like came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy how that happened. And now that I'm seeing that, I am understanding now why things work the way they work, right? So it's just kind of funny. And I had to share that. That was just so, it just, it never ceases to amaze me how amazing spirit is and how spirit works in our lives. When you're on the spiritual path and you're on your spiritual journey, you will understand what I'm talking about. Um, there are no coincidences. It's just insane how everything just kind of happens. <laughs> so anyways, um, I feel really pumped and rejuvenated being in this membership and just being in this space of I'm listening to other people who have businesses and they have different backgrounds. Like some of them are teachers, tutors. Some of them are healers and readers. Some of them are um, techies and, you know, website creators. And like everyone has like a different niche that they're a part of, right? Yet we are all in this same space of being stuck or being challenged or being questioned. Our, our identity is being questioned. Our purpose is being questioned, right? And it's just kind of crazy to me to see that, that it doesn't matter what area of a business someone is in. We all struggle in the same areas. So it's just pretty it's pretty cool to see that so i love it when there are a couple other um people who have a spiritual or a healing based um business i love to you know i'm listening and i, I have my notebook and i'm taking notes like crazy like taking notes i'm a note taker um because the questions that they're asking it's stuff that i can resonate with too so i'm like taking you know taking notes down from all of the advice that they're being given 
And then you'll have someone who has a business that is completely on the other side of like what I do. It's like a, a more tangible, to me, it seems like a more tangible business. Like it's more, you know, there it's more CEO kind of stuff and like heavy duty stuff, right? <laughs> Yet they're asking something, they're struggling with something that is still in the area that I struggle with. And so the insight and the, this guidance that, that, that they're being given matches and it just resonates with what I need to hear. And so it just, it validates me from spirit that I am in the place that I need to be right now. And I am receiving the medicine, the nourishment that I need to receive in this moment and that I made a good decision to sign up for the membership and <laughs> I'm doing what I got to do. I was hesitant. I was hesitant to sign up for this because, um, you know, I'll be very transparent. Like my spiritual business has taken a little bit of a dip. Um, I've just kind of been in this place of like doing a lot of inner work and questioning myself. I've been re like literally burnout coming back, relapsing and going back into burnout over and over again, consistently for a solid year. Um, and so I'm just kind of in this energetic space of trying to stay above the surface, right? And just trying to kind of do my thing. And I've been putting so much of my focus and attention on my inner work, the inner healing that I need to do within myself, that sometimes it means I have to take a step away from some of the work or some of the activities that I was doing that were taking up a lot of my time and energy. And one of them was um, my membership. I took a pause for the month of May. I took a pause for my membership. I honestly took a pause thinking that I, I don't know if I'm gonna come back from this. <laughs> But um, it was much needed because to me, it was like, I need to devote this time. And what a crazy coincidence that I decided to take a, ta take a break from my membership. And I had decided this practically early on in April. Um, and then this business membership comes to be like, it literally happened around the same time where it was like, wow, I'm actually making like subconsciously, I was making space for myself to be able to sit in and do these meetings and do these classes and do this membership because I put my own membership on pause. And so it's just a beautiful thing because it taught me, it shows me that my, subconsciously and also with my spirit, my, you know, tapping in with spirit, I was trusting my intuition. I was trusting what my heart needed to be you know needed needed at that moment so it's kind of cool to see that happen <laughs> so i do feel like i am doing exactly what i need to do right now um and then obviously the month of june will be different because i do want to relaunch spirit moon i do want to get back into the flow of my membership because now that i'm not doing it i miss it so i miss the community i miss working with my members i miss having a meeting you know to look forward to i'm changing the dynamic of spirit moon just a little bit um so that i don't burn myself out but i'm also keeping a lot of the same elements to it i've learned a lot of tough lessons in the last year and a half ish that i've had of membership <laughs> i have learned a lot of lessons and i i'm still learning like we are never in a place where we're not ever learning like we're always learning um but me you know hosting a membership that was new territory last year and then you know each month it got a little bit easier and it made a little bit more sense um, and then I had struggles and this and that, and I made mistakes, <laughs> but I've also had some amazing, amazing accomplishments. Um, but everything is a learning process. So I'm taking all of that with me to kind of do better this next go around. So I'm really excited to see what happens, what comes of that. But I feel like because I'm taking the time and energy and the investment um, to put into this business membership, this mentoring that I'm taking on, that it will also kind of reflect back onto me to um, inspire me to make the necessary changes that I need to make for my business, to, to do the things that I need to do to be able to place myself in a state of like 
not on a, I don't want to put myself up on a, a pedestal, but I want to see myself in a space of being worthy of um, being respected and being treated well and, you know, being able to embrace the offerings that I put out with confidence, as well as not having money issues, you know, like there's a lot of like little pieces that you don't really think come along with having a business. (laughs) I mean, I'm on the outside, it might look easy, but it's really difficult. So it's kind of beautiful to be able to have a space held for me in these meetings, in this membership, in the community that that this membership brings. It's really beautiful and I love it. So I just had to share that because I felt so on fire. Um, But now here I am just trying to decide like, I, I like literally, like I said, I'm taking crazy notes. I've had some amazing inspirational downloads come to me, some new ideas. I'm just really excited to see where this takes Rachel spirit and soul. Um, and yeah, I'm just hopeful to be able to continue my growth. <clears throat> if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll probably notice that I do reels now. Like I've been creating reels and it's gotten a lot easier to create a reel than it was before. I had to teach myself, <laughs> but now that I know how to do it, it's easy to do it. Um, So I've been implementing all of these new strategies and just slowly being patient with myself, you know, but at least I'm doing the thing. Um, But yeah, it's been really, really good. And I feel like I'm just in this place of just, I'm in this excitement place, this excitement phase where I want to really just kind of rediscover and have this and find this new love and, and respect and appreciation for Spirit Moon for Rachel's spirit and soul, for the cackling moon, like all of these different parts of my business, of myself, of my social media, of everything that is, you know, who I am and just embrace it. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to kind of jump on here and just kind of just do a, a little brain dump on you guys of everything that's been working in my mind right now because I do feel that spark of inspiration and I felt like what better way to just jump in and record something real quick since I already had it all set up. (laughs) But anyways, my loves, um, I am going to call this, um, call it a morning. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of the day um, and just, you know, live life and do what I do. And yeah, you guys will see more of me. If you are interested in joining Spirit Moon, I'm going to be putting up um, more information about it. The signups for Spirit Moon are always the last week of every month. So I keep it like that because um, the date that you sign up is the date that your recurring subscription payment will be. So if you are thinking of joining Spirit Moon or if you want to rejoin Spirit Moon, um, the information I will make sure to post it for you guys, but it will the 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 page on my website will be available um, the last week of the month. So just I'll I'll keep you guys posted. Put me down like click the little bell for notifications so that you are notified when I put up a new video. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, note put the bell of notifications as well so that you are notified every single time that I put a post up. Um, So you'll be the first to know. And if you're not already um, signed up to receive my newsletter, I do send out two newsletters. I call them little love mails, but um, I do send out two a month. So make sure that you join my mailing list. All of the information will be in the description box, the links to all of that, um, because you don't want to miss out. That is like a really cool way to keep in touch with me um, if social media isn't your thing, but maybe you love an email every once in a while. So un- until then, my loves, I will chat with you later. Take care. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, my loves. <laughs>